What up, y'all? It's your man, Apple American, man. Just thinking about some stuff here that kind of, like, bothers me. Um, it doesn't really bother me, but it's just, like, it just shows you the madness of the West uh, in the 21st century and how you guys complain about the collapse of the West. You blame Muslims here and there, haphazardly and randomly, and it's like none of what you say makes sense. Let me give you an example, and this is just something kind of clicked to me. I, I watched a video recently of a late-term abortion it really triggered me man it triggered me it triggered me so much that i just i went to facebook and i just started crap posting like really dumping on people it's really it's honestly changed my mood i didn't think i was easily affected by stuff like that i thought i was like you know the immovable object you know in terms of like how uh media in the 21st century affects you but it's not true it's not true i, I don't think anybody's totally immune to it maybe you, you can train yourself out of it and i've trained myself largely out of it in terms of being triggered but that really set me off looking at a late-term abortion um to see a full-size baby being pulled out of somebody you know up to the neck and then being decapitated we're talking like a good six to maybe eight pound baby is a big baby is is a anyway that stuff bothers you man and it got me thinking about like how everybody in the West is complaining about halal. And it's like when you start reading online comments and sections, and whatnot, and dudes start talking about like, oh, halal and whatever else and how they slaughter animals. It's so cruel. <laughs> and then at the same time, it's like you're looking at all these people who are pro abortion. It's like y'all more concerned about how people slaughter your food than you are about how people are slaughtering children. And that right there is just proof that the West is lost. You guys don't have to worry about Muslims in Islam. You guys have lost on your own. It's not Muslims in here taking over and destroying the West. You people have destroyed yourself to the point that it's like you're so worried about halal slaughtering of my steak and my hamburger. More so than you are about a full-grown baby. Anywhere between six to eight pounds. I can't, man, I'd get banned off YouTube instagram what you name it if i posted that video the video actually got pulled it was on vimeo and it got pulled uh because it violated the terms but i still have like the little what do you call this thing the little icon the little like uh thing that appears on the screen when you like pick a video or you make a video anyway um i still have that and it's it's just it's disturbing um but you guys are more worried about that halal and how a cow, which is going to end up on your plate and be eaten, is slaughtered more so than you are about the very fact that no matter where you go in the West, including the United States now, populations are on a decline. You have negative birth rates and you're more concerned about cows being slaughtered than you are about humans and how those humans are being slaughtered. It's just unbelievable. It's unbelievable. This isn't a war between Islam and the West. This is a war between yourselves. Two different ideologies in the West. And you you guys are just collateral damaging the crap out of each other. And like I said in the previous version uh, video, we're just the next largest demographic in place to take over. It, it, remove the Muslims and the Polish are going to be next. I think the Polish are the next highest demographic in the West anywhere to like be in the West. You just make a new Polish West or whatever you want to call it. The next demographic in line is the one that's going to take over. And you guys see the writing on the wall. But the problem is this. It's not us. It's just you. Man, looking at that stuff, uh, you know, I have to sit back and I have to say that I have, I, I officially, it's an official stance. I officially agree with Turt Flinging Monkey. 100%. The rights of women need to be rescinded entirely. They need to be taken away and never looked at again on returning them. You can work. You can go out and drive cars. We're not going to make it to Saudi Arabia or whatnot. Even in Muslims, you know, even Muslims are allowed to drive cars. In Saudis, that's a cultural thing. It's not a religious thing. But women can function in society entirely, but you are not allowed to have a vote. You don't have a say in the direction that our society goes. They need to have all their rights removed entirely. Entirely. Unequivocally. Unabashedly. Un whatever words you can pick in your vocabulary, pick an adjective, noun, whatever, verb, their rights need to be removed. It's like we're dealing with, what was that saying? Hell is empty and the devils are all here and the devils are females. You know, let me tell you all little Muslim something. There's non-Muslims. We have a tradition. We have Islamic traditions. They're called Hadith. They're the sayings, the approvals, disapprovals, whatnot of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. 
and there's a obscure one, although I, I do I do believe that it is uh, authentic. Let me, I'll have to research it, but there's a saying that says when the Dajjal, the Antichrist, he comes, people are going to follow him in droves. And they said the number one followers of the Antichrist are going to be women. And you can't tell me that's not going to be true. I mean, look at them. Look at them. They're like demons, man. They're like devils. If you see this, go to my Instagram and just look at the stuff. I've been on like a crap post in streak lately. My Facebook too. It's just mad, man. The stuff that you see that they're up to. It's unbelievable. But anyway, this tradition says that it, the draw of the Dajjal is so powerful that men are going to have to tie their women up, literally tie them to posts so that they don't go out and follow them. And when we look at the way that the women are like just acting, man, it, it, it's impossible not to believe it. it. It's impossible not to believe it. If that's not a proof of revelation, if that's not one of the many proofs of revelation, I don't know what it is, man. Because these women, man, they're just, yo, it's just madness, man. It's madness. I think Barefoot in the Kitchen is probably the best that women have ever had. This... <laughs> <laughs> look at my eyes man i'm looking at my own eyes in the video and that's sad man that that hurts to say man because now you know i got a daughter i got i got i got two daughters man but that's just i don't know anyway man let me know what you think i'm just ranting today man no real method to the madness this is your man album american catch me on instagram twitter facebook all at album american don't forget to hit like subscribe i'm out who wants to fight aha uh -huh. i'm only taking the brave I'm not taking the scary. I'm not taking no guns. Are you ready to fight?